Welcome back, everybody. St. Patrick's Day isn't until Friday, but we are getting the party started a little early so that you are prepared to entertain. We are so excited this lady's here. Courtney Whitmore with Pizzazzery.com. So your website, your blog, it's yep. so beautiful. Thank all sorts you. of fun things. She's working on her fourth book Yay, yeah. right now. And it's all about tablescapes and parties. Yes. So this fits in. This does fit in. So anything party, food, party drinks, it's related to a party. I love it. So um, especially St. Patrick's Day because it's just a fun excuse to make a fun cocktail. So. Absolutely. Especially with like this weather, you right. just want to amp it up What is the name of this one? So a shamrock sour. So it's got a little touch of green in it and it's just perfect if you don't really want to head to the bars for green beer. You can make something fun at home and it's delicious, it's easy to make and it's perfect color for St. Patrick's Day. Yay. Awesome. Right. Okay. We're going to put one together. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. So the first thing we're going to start with is simple syrup. So that'll mm -hmm. give it a little touch of sweetness. And so we add that in here, and you can make it in a cocktail shaker, or if you have a fun stirrer, which I'll show you about, we can just make it directly in there and keep it easy. There you go. So then we have lime juice. So we're just gonna add a couple. You know what I love? I love that this is simple syrup that you can buy. Because yes. I never have time to actually yes. make it. I mean you can, this but you can also nice. just grab it from the grocery store and keep it easy. Yeah, so. that's easy. Okay, very nice. And then lemon, and so that kind of gives it that sour touch, sweet mm -hmm. and sour, which I love. And we'll add that There's in there. There's one ingredient I haven't seen yet. Oh, there we go. Irish there whiskey. It is. It's sort of a must for St. Patrick's Day. She's so got it down. We will add that in there. So your favorite mm -hmm. Irish whiskey will work. And we just add Jameson's it right in there. always a good choice. Beautiful. And then, because I just love to make things cute and fun, we just have some fun stirs. Which you can just stir away. You now, have always got the cutest little touches. Where no. do you find all this stuff? Craft stores, um, party stores, and you can make some of this stuff. If you find a fun little craft, stick it on a bamboo skewer. Like near the grilling section, you'll find bamboo skewers. So I hoard those to make fun things oh, like that's this. That's a good point. <laughs> um, I just would never think of that. I have a ton of these skewers yeah, that yeah. I don't do anything with. And right, so you could put stickers or like foam things on top. And the thing that makes it perfect for St. Patrick's Day, and you can do this or you don't have to do it, but okay. just a touch of green yeah, will just give it color, that right? little color. It that and just stir it around. I'm moving that so you makes can it see how perfect pretty. Green. And you can add as much or as little as you want. No, that's here's super the fun. other thing that I love. First of all, you always you're famous for tablescapes. I love looking at the blog because it always looks so beautiful. Your pictures are gorgeous. Thank you. What's the one thing people need to know if they're going to create a tablescape? Is it the theme? Is it a color? Because I notice your greens are all very close to the same color green. Is that important? Yeah, um, I think color scheme is my favorite thing over theme because okay. I think it's really great to have some basic like white cake stands, white dishes. Because then you can add any sort of tablecloth, which I love to go to the fabric store for tablecloths because you can use no so hem tape or anything like that, if you try to make that perfect tablecloth that oh, you want. So. For a tablecloth, you just grab yeah. a little Because sometimes it's hard fabric. to find the color you want. You might be able to find white or black, but you can't find the fun color, so no. just hit up the fabric store. And also, yeah, gotta pour her one here. Oh, yeah. this, these, these are fun really if you don't really want to bake, but you kind of want a, oh, a yeah. treat. Oh yeah, talk about your pot of gold. Yes, I, yes. Um, especially if you're in kind of a hurry or you have toddlers yeah. and you're busy like me. Then <laughs> these are just fun little spray painted cups with gold truffles down in it to make a fun pot of gold. So if you're having a dinner party, it's a fun little take home favor or treat. Look at that. And it was cute. easy. You and saved you, your Mardi Gras beads. So exactly, you reuse green. things and you don't even have to turn the oven on. You still you have little coins too. Look yep. at that, that's so great. Pizzazzery.com is her blog. You can. Check it out. Plus, your book's coming yes. out this fall. Yes? In August, it'll ship. Oh, oh I love it. Good. All right, grab All right, a drink, cheers. girl. Let's cheers it up. Cheers. I love cheers. this girl. Congratulations Thank on the new you. book. Thanks for coming in. Good. All right.